Hi and welcome to week 22 of U.S. history. So this week we're going to be exploring three pivotal topics that illuminate the evolution of American foreign policy and expansionism. We're going to identify the key factors driving Americans to seek a greater role overseas, explain how the United States transitioned into a world power, and evaluate the acquisition of Hawaii. So we'll begin by looking at the desire for a greater role overseas, which was fueled by several factors, those of which, of course, are economic opportunities. So Americans sought new markets and resources abroad to fuel economic growth and expand trade opportunities, particularly in regions like Asia and Latin America. Second were strategic interests, so geopolitical considerations such as the need for naval bases and coaling stations drove American expansionism in the Pacific and Caribbean regions. Ideological imperatives, of course, so the belief in American exceptionalism, uh, manifest destiny, and the spread of democracy and civilization motivated efforts to intervene in foreign affairs and promote American values abroad. Understanding these factors sheds light on America's evolving role as a global power in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. So the United States then took its first steps towards the being a world power through a series of transformative events and policies. First of which was the Spanish-American War. The victory over Spain in 1898 marked a turning point for the U.S., expanding its influence in the Caribbean and Pacific regions and establishing it as a major player on the world stage. There was the open door policy, a diplomatic strategy aimed at ensuring access to China's markets and preventing European colonization, uh, which uh, thus solidified America's position as a global economic and political power. And there was of course the construction of the Panama Canal facilitated, uh, which facilitated trade and military transportation between the Atlantic and the Pacific Oceans, enhancing America's strategic interests and influence in the Western Hemisphere. These developments propelled the United States into a new era of international engagement and leadership. Finally, we're going to talk about the acquisition of Hawaii by the United States which uh, raises complex questions about imperialism and sovereignty. Of course, the annexation of Hawaii in 1898 was driven by economic interests, particularly the desire for sugar plantations and naval bases in the Pacific. There was, of course, political controversy. The annexation faced opposition from native Hawaiians and, critici and critics of imperialism, raising questions about the illegitimacy of American expansionism and the rights of indigenous people. Uh, and of course, we know that there have been long-term impacts. So the annexation transformed the island's social, cultural, and economic landscape, paving the way for Hawaii's eventual statehood and shaping its relationship with the United States. So evaluating the acquisition of Hawaii requires a nuanced understanding of historical context and the complexities of imperialism and colonialism. And that'll be it. This will be the exploration of some of the key topics this week. So from the factors driving American expansionism to the nation's transition into a world power and the acquisition of Hawaii, we're going to discuss and analyze pivotal moments that shaped America's role on the world stage. So I want to thank you. And I look forward to seeing you all and working with you this week. Thank you.